pumpkin. I mean, that goes without saying. Look at how fun these are. Honey bun. Ooh, I'd like to try that one. Snowballs. Twinkies. And they even have the ding dongs. First haul, Shaw Supermarket. Comment below if you have a Shaw Supermarket also affiliated with Star Market. All right, right down there is apple juice. It was on sale for a dollar and it is 100% apple juice, so that's a really great deal. Those two bottles are actually for mom. The Poland Spring Water, if you spent $10, you were able to buy a 24 pack for $1.99. And then I went a little ham on puddings. These three are actually for mom. Uh, they were a dollar each, and I just couldn't resist picking them all up because that one is lemon. This one is a banana cream pie. I'm not sure if those two are regular or that was maybe like a summer thing. I don't remember. Maybe the lemon. I think I bought the lemon for mom before. Like I said, I don't know if they have just regular banana or it is banana cream pie. Comment if you know. And then this one I have definitely never seen and I'm pretty sure it must have been a summer thing. Uh, tropical mango. I think she's really going to enjoy that. So she's going to be stocked up for a little while when it comes to puddings, especially since it's not something I normally get her. Um, but I just, I couldn't resist. All right. Then at Stop and Chop, not that long ago, I, I get it every year. I got their Stop and Chop brand and a uh, pumpkin spice whipped topping they come out with it every year i normally get at least two cans two three sometimes depending i don't even remember what i would pay for them in past years but i know this year as soon as i seen it i grabbed it and i paid i believe 4.99 which is freaking ridiculous so shaw's also has this store brand and even though i haven't even touched the stop and chop one i i picked it up because uh, I rarely go to Shaw's as it is, so I wanted to, one, compare, two, pumpkin, I mean, that goes without saying, and like I said, I usually at least get two cans before the pumpkin spice season is over, and their price is regular $3.99, and it was on sale for $2.99, so way better than the Stop and Chop deal, and Shaw's is even more expensive than Stop and Chop, so to see that it was just a dollar cheaper regular price i was pretty surprised and happy about it and then we got these so cute i don't know if these been around for a, a while or not but denny has recently started taking uh these juice enhancers water enhancers to work and they had jelly belly um they were on sale two for six i think they're 349 um regular price and this one is tutti fruity and that one is berry blue. If you watch a number of my grocery hauls, you know that Hot Pockets is a staple. Uh, they were on sale $2 a box. And then the very last thing I picked up is actually for mom, but she's gonna share with her last born uh, pumpkin ha rice crispy treat. Anyone have these?
Let me know if you have. Let me know if you liked it, what you thought of it. Uh, they were on sale for $4.49. I believe I've seen them for $4.99. I don't even know if $4.99 is their regular price. I think it is actually. So big deal, 50 cents off, but I'll take it. And I thought I'd give my mom a little pumpkin treat because even though she's not uh, pumpkin obsessed like me, she does like pumpkin. found some multi-grain squares. These were $2.59. This one is oats and honey with coconut. And this one is maple pumpkin seeds. They had their milk for $2.54, 2%. To give their brand of canned vegetables a go. This one is in the cream style corn. I saw this and I figured I don't know how well it will do as sandwich bread, but I'm gonna give it a try. Garlic, butter, and cheddar. This one's a seeded whole grain pumpkin bread. And they're calling it Seed You Later Pumpkin. And both of these, $3.99. I find all these breads very expensive. And then the last was they had spaghetti squash. 69 cents a pound this week. I got pork chops, I got turkey, kielbasa, I got ground beef, I got hot pocket. I got two cabinet butters, thanks to a very old rain check that I forgot about. I was able to pay $1.98 each. The great thing about Stop and Shop Brain Checks is that they don't expire. Really excited about these. I've seen these out for a few months, maybe like right before the summer. And they've always just been too much that I want to pay. And it worked out that they were on sale and I had $1 coupons and two, one for each. So making these only $1.50. So I'm pretty stocked up on butter, perfect timing for the holiday season coming up. Grab another International Delight Oreo iced coffee. I'm still waiting to see the pumpkin in the International Delight. They come out with it every year, but by this time I usually find it. And I'm thinking, I wonder if they're going to come out with it at all this year. If you've seen it, let this girl know down below because I don't really buy this brand a lot. Only when it's like the pumpkin or this one is really, really good. So it's like I look forward to that because their pumpkin is really good. But I don't know, I guess they're not going to do that this year. And this was on sale for $3.50 and then I had a 55 cent coupon which coupons at Stop and Shop double anything under 99 cents so I was able to get $1.10 off the $3.50. I got some sliced cheese and some teriyaki chicken breasts that I spotted while I was there so I want to give that a try and a bell pepper they were 10 for 10 I picked up one. 
picked up this Purcell. Don't usually buy the, uh, they call these discs. I don't know what the difference is between these and pods or if that means the same thing, but I couldn't resist because it's regular $5.99, but they had an app coupon for $3 off. And then I had a manufacturer coupon, a, a one that came in the inserts for $2. So making this only 99 cents. So I had to pick it up. Just this morning, I washed my water bottle, the one that you can put fruit in it. It's got the little infusion thing. Um, just this morning, I went to go put it away and I noticed that the bottom just it wasn't looking good anymore so i said to myself oh you need to buy a new one and sure enough it's like i manifested it almost i don't know does that ever happen to you do you ever think things a certain thing and then all of a sudden like it's just there well anyway these were 14.99 that's what they carried them for all summer ridiculous never but they had them on clearance for 375 i think it was so what i love about this is that you actually put the fruit down here and then it infuses through there yeah not bad and then the last items that i got they were on clearance for 37 cents and i just couldn't pass it up i think the pattern is so cute there's eight to each one and they were two for three probably can't see that so i got three of the dessert ones and look at that i think that's so cute and i got three of the medium size ones Well, I went into Target for soda, dog food, these, and this, and I came out with so much more, of course. So the soda deal wasn't one of the best deals that I can get, but we needed soda and it was decent enough. So basically the um, Pepsi 12 packs were three for 12 but if you spend $15 in Pepsi products they give you a $5 gift card these three packs brought me to $12 but I was still off $3 to make the 15 in order to get the gift card and usually I would have just picked up another 12 pack of the regular Mountain Dew but AJ is the only one that drinks the regular Mountain Dew and um, he doesn't seem to go through a can he's been dumping out most of them and it's just wasteful so even though you, this is more expensive and you get less uh, for more money it just made more sense so I got a 10 pack of the smaller cans the 7.5 ounces and this was a $3.99 which of course made this deal $16 so a dollar over the 15 I needed to spend so there's that gift card for that deal so they still don't have the steak ones but they were on sale for 350 this week so I stocked up and I got the turkey and a provolone I picked up three of those <laughs> and this right here I thought it was two different ones, but they're not because they say chocolate brownie licious, uh, real chocolate chunks, chocolate brownie licious, real chocolate chunks. But one says new and one is darker. So that threw me off. But being home now, I, I honestly think I picked up, which is no big deal, but I picked up two boxes of the same thing where I thought I was getting two different kinds of brownie granolas and then they had their uh, big packs of chips the 18 bags uh, for $6.99 which is regular $7.99 so it's only a dollar off but it's still a dollar off this 
is an Ibotta deal. It actually ends today, but Ibotta is giving you back a full rebate of $3.99. Back, this one was actually, they had like two that were $3.99 in this uh, Sweet Earth brand. This one was $4.19. So after the $3.99, I'm still only paying $0.20. Cents, so had to get that. You seen these as I was walking into the store. They reminded me of the ones that um, Dollar Tree always carries for Valentine's Day with the red. These are black and orange filling and they were a dollar just like at the Dollar Tree. Right here, um, this is really good. If you have not tried this, give this a try. This, this crema is really good. It, I've been looking for it and I haven't seen it and then it threw me off because they always uh, brand it in like the uh, Coffee Mate and International Delight uh, type of bottle but this year they did it more like a like a milk carton bottle and this was $3.99 and it was 10% off in the um, Cartwheel app. Now I usually would have picked up at least three of these and actually last year I um, I froze them They did all right. I still used it like 50-50 like I would recommend it and then I wouldn't recommend it um, Definitely when it defrosted you could tell that it was frozen, but it was still good So but I decided only to pick up one because I am going to try to make my own uh pumpkin cream or so but I at least wanted to have one of these because they are good and then um, I needed dog food and it just so happens this week they have an a um, category coupon that if you spend $40 you get $10 off and if you spend $60 you get 15 off now this is the way better deal to go with because 40 gets you 10 but 60 gets you 15 so it's like you're, you're spending an extra 20 just to get that extra five dollars so i wouldn't recommend doing the second one you're much better off doing this one um well so what i did is i had to get um wick in on the little pumpkin action so uh and because it was a good coupon you know i went for the good stuff Uh, so this is $24.99, which is so expensive. But I figured even if I took the $10 from the coupon and just say I'm putting the $10 towards this, that made it $14.99. So that made it very affordable. And then the Milo's Kitchen, there is um, a butter rebates uh, for $3 off. And then they're in the cartwheel app, they're 15% off. So between the 15% off and the $3 that I will get back from my Bada, um, brought this bag down to $8.63, which the regular price is $13.69. I think even at $8.63, it is still expensive. I know it's like a really, you know, expensive brand, uh, but still. And then I would still, be a dollar 32 off for hitting that $40 mark that I'd have to hit to be able to get the 10. So all I did was just pick up one of these pedigree cans. This one's beef, bacon, and cheese flavor. It is a huge can. It's a 22 ounce can. And this was a dollar 49. So I think it took me over like seven cents, 40 or seven, which then brought me to be able to hit that 40 so i look at it this way i spent an extra dollar 49 that i wouldn't have normally spent but i got 10 back so even if you take the dollar 49 away from the 10 i still made like what eight and change so it was definitely worth it in the way i do my couponing would i have normally picked this up for the 863 honestly Probably not, but I mean like I said it, it is a $14 item that I then only paid eight So if you think about it, that is almost 
half off and it's not like something I would do all the time every time it came out but because it worked out that you know I did get those discounts I said why not happy fall to wick all right so let's get this I bought a deal submitted so I'm gonna click on to target and we're gonna click redeem so now we're gonna upload receipt which is basically taking pictures of it all right so now we're gonna hit finish and it's finding the offer now it says that it has three matched offers, which is the Milo, the Sweet Earth, and then there was a um, 10 cent cash back for uploading any receipt. So all in all, I got back, you're probably not gonna be able to see that, but I got back 709. So hit collect. There it is. Sweet. 709 will be added to your account within 24 hours. There's also a $3 rebate on Saving Star, which will make the $14.99, $11.99 even better. I'll have links to Ibotta, Saving Star, and don't forget Fetch Rewards. Definitely upload your receipts. You get free gift cards. I'll have it all in my description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of grocery haul combo. I feel like I'm always going grocery shopping, so if you like to watch that kind of thing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll have one of my playlists linked up above. If you're in the mood for a fall related video or you need a new recipe in your life, go ahead and check out my end screen. Bye.